What's up everyone, I'm Mike with woodshopmike.com and today I'm going to show you my process for shingling a chicken coop along with reviewing this new cordless roofing nailer from DeWalt. Home Depot sent me this tool as part of their prospective program and thankfully I already had the perfect project lined up to test it out. So if you have not seen my other chicken coop videos, go ahead and open up the card right here and then come right back to check out the rest of this video. I'm going to jump right into the process of shingling this roof and the first thing I need to do is run my starter strips. You can buy these or just cut off the ends of the shingles so that the tar strip is about an inch from the edge. Overhang the strip about a quarter inch from the drip edge and nail it down. Also, I make sure to stagger the seams of the starter strips and the first course of shingles so that way every seam is overlapped. For the first course, I nail down a full length shingle. Then with the subsequent courses, I incrementally trim off six inches per the manufacturer's guidelines. After a few rows are started, I finish them off by trimming the additional shingles to length. I hold the shingle in place and cut a notch flush with the previously finished row. Then I flip the shingle over, score the back, and break off the extra. Now I nail the shingle into place and repeat the process until I'm to the ridge. So first off, this tool comes with a carrying bag, the nailer itself, a two amp battery, and a charger. So I have a standard pneumatic powered roofing nailer and what I'm looking forward to about this is not having to deal with the hose obviously. Now one downside is that this is uh, a little bit heavier than my roofing nailer that is pneumatic but time will tell to see if the added weight and pull of the hose is an issue when uh, you consider that this doesn't have a hose that you're having to tug against. So right off the bat, one of the things that I like about this roofing nailer is how easy it is to load and adjust the gun. You have your door here on the front, and then you have your carriage here in the back. If you need to change the settings for a longer or shorter nail than what you have, you just rotate this plate out, slide it up or down this post until you notch it back into the position uh, for the nails that you're using. To shingle the ridge, I'm simply cutting a full shingle into three individual pieces. I shingle the ridge with a starter strip in a similar fashion as I did with the eaves, and make sure to center all of the shingles over the ridge. The nails that I have right here are one and a quarter, so I'm just going to slip it over the post right there and extend it, get it started in the track. There's a little slot right there at the top. Close this door, and what's really nice is how easily this latches. So just a flip of the wrist and it's locked in place. This nail gun is built on the 20 volt platform. So anything from that pancake battery uh, that I showed just a minute ago to a 10 amp battery will work with this tool. And after I get the roof on the chicken coop, I'm gonna let you know what I think. Okay, y'all, well, the roof for this coop is a wrap, and this cordless nailer by DeWalt really did a great job. I liked the way that it worked. It functioned very smoothly. I didn't have a single jam while I was working. I was a little bit concerned about the weight of this uh, as opposed to a standard pneumatic roofing nailer, uh, but all in all, actually, without having the hose that is pulling against the nailer and adding a little bit of extra weight, uh, it really was not an issue. And don't forget, this tool is available from Home Depot if you are interested in picking one up for yourself. I have it linked in the description below, along with a link to how to build this coop from scratch. We'll see you next time. Oh, you're still there. Awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, have fun making something.